He is Miami's man in the middle. Right side. What a putback. That man is carrying Miami. He's a game changer. He's somebody that makes the game so much easier for his teammates. Embracing his decision to stay in South Florida. Being on a team longer than two years, you know, it's, it really meant a lot to me. Quiero un, un cafecito. He invites us into the space he can finally call home. This is like my first actual house I've ever had in my life. The Miami Heat logo upside down is Hassan Whiteside, and you flip it, it's Miami Heat. He's established on social media. <laughs> Out here. And his adversity further connects him to his fans. Hey, Devin, how you doing, man? Good, and you? I feel like people can kind of relate to my story. If something I go in your way, don't give up. That approach has him where he is today. White side, look out below. I'm doing what I love. Every day I go into work, you know, this is what I love. Inside the heat, Hassan Whiteside. Welcome to this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. Hassan Whiteside has emerged as one of the premier centers in the NBA. In the summer of 2016, he had a decision to make. Where would he continue his career as it is blossoming? He decided to stay where it all began for him, really, as a starter in the association, right here with the Miami Heat. One of the first things he did after signing that new contract, buy this beautiful home behind me in iconic Miami Beach. Hassan was kind enough to walk us around his new home and tell us all about his decision to stay in Miami. Oh, Hassan Whiteside. What's, up? What's, up? What's happening, man? man? How you doing, man? Listen, I just like every now and then I get to the streets, roll <laughs> around, bring a whole camera crew, nice, nice. shoot a show. Thought we'd What's come up? see you, man. Come on in, man. Man, come before we in. come in, though, can we talk about just a, a koi pond? Yeah, koi pond, man. Uh -huh. uh, the fishes, they gonna come around when I come out here. Okay, so they know when daddy's home, <laughs> it's time to roll out. Yeah. Look at this. They're really nice to look at. They're my guys, they're my guys. I heard that. All right, let's walk in. Show me around. I like a modern house. You know, I like the futuristic look. You need a little headroom. You yeah, walk around, I got <laughs> plenty of headroom. So, 30 foot ceiling, so. I see you have a theme. A uh, Lamborghini theme. Yes. Growing up, my favorite car was um, Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, I can't fit in one, so. Uh, <laughs> they haven't figured out how to make nah, one that nah, you can fit yet. in? Not yet, not yet. So um, everything pretty much just Lamborghini. Got my 21 pool table, yes, you know. Sir. A lot of people lose on this thing right here, so. A lot of people well, lose right here. Well, when we right finish here. this tour, I might be not like one of them. <laughs> the focal point of Hassan's living area displays one of his favorite interests, fish. A custom fish tank was designed specifically for him by the TV show Tanked. It's bigger than a wingspan. Oh, man. Walk us through all the life that's going on in here. I got a purple tank. I got a fox face. This is a clown fish. He look a little different than most people know. I got the little Nemo's right here. You know, they they, they small, so they keep right. to themselves. Now, do you find yourself just sitting here and literally just watching all the them? Time. I eat lunch, I eat dinner, I look at them, and um, you start picking up their different personalities. What's the most interesting thing that you've learned about fish since uh... it builds its own ecosystem. Once I have this uh, over a year or so, you'll start seeing just things appear like um, starfish. Mm. It kind of takes on its own habitat, you know, and um, watching new life form inside of a tank. It's really interesting, man. It's a great hobby. Scuba Steve, let's get to it. Now you got to explain the wheel. Basically, the Miami Heat logo upside down is um, Hassan Whiteside, and you flip it. It's Miami Heat, so it was destiny for me to be here. <laughs> destiny, so. Absolutely. You wake up and you come down to this every single day. Yeah. This starts your day all right. <laughs> yeah, man. I wanted to live on the water. This is a manatee zone, so, so you got to be careful around here. I did learn it's illegal to ride a manatee. <laughs> so I, I thought I'd ride up on a manatee that was you know, Yeah, we have manatees all over here, so um, just having them guys out here is something special in your backyard. Do some dolphins come through? Yeah, yeah, every now and then. They normally come out in the morning, you okay. know, in the morning time around 6 a.m. You know, they like to get out early and play. A lot of this wasn't here. I basically designed the backyard myself. I put the finishing touches on it, and uh, it came out great. Very good. Hey, cuz, where you going to sign? Miami. 
you decided to stay, you had choices to go anywhere you wanted to go. What most influenced your decision? Um, just that the winning culture here. The front office does a great job of just putting the right personalities in the locker room. Just beautiful, unselfish play. You want guys to just really care about winning and uh, give it their all. The Sun Whiteside is staying in Miami. Whiteside writes, I've played for eight teams since college. I am not ready for there to be a night. What was it about stability that was so important to you? You guys got to see my house. You know, this is like my first actual house I've ever had in my life. You know, it took me um, 26 years to, to, to actually get to this point. So, so being able to have a house and um, being on a team for longer than two years, you know, it's, it really meant a lot to me. Do you find yourself sometimes thinking back to the beginning? Uh, yeah, all the yeah. time, man, yeah. all the time. You know, I just, I always sit out here and look at the water and um, think about um, the journey it took and um, just kept pushing. James Johnson misses. White side. Oh, yes, big fella. Bringing out his best. I'm not really thinking of, oh, man, it's been this amount of years or this long. I just, man, I just said every day, every day, I'm going to just keep putting work in and um, getting better. At times, it's surreal. You know, but at times, you know, this is something you always dreamed about. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. We're here outside the home of Heat Center, Hassan Whiteside. When Hassan decided to re-sign with the Miami Heat, he announced it on the social media app Snapchat. He loves social media. It's a great way for him to connect with his fans and tell them what's going on in his everyday life, a life that now centers around the great things about living in the 305. I would not want to break in another man's house, particularly when his initials and number are on the table. Oh, come on. Yeah, here it comes. That's right, right there. Don't let the purple rain on you. Oh! Touch, just Ooh, a touch. Don't follow it. Oh, oh, my God. oh don't you miss it? Oh, I needed that. Talk to me nice. Talk to me Ooh. nice. Oh. This is wrap after this. Wrap if I miss that one. Ooh, get cozy. Get cozy. I can never tell a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. oh! This is gonna be the longest pool game ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're both really not that good at this. The game is over. Not even looking. It's over. Great game, Congratulations. Congratulations. Loser racks it up. I can put me to work <laughs> in the house. That's how you do it. So, Sean, tell me, what is it that you enjoy the most about living in Miami? The weather is great. You know, it's so much water. It's really pretty. The fans really supportive. You know, it's so much fun to do. You know, the weather is amazing. You have noted that you love to swim. Are you good at it? I'm a merman. So I'm part, I'm like a fish out there. So when I'm in the water, it's just. I want to make sure I heard just, you're a merman. I'm a great swimmer. You know, I, I lost one swimming race and that was to somebody on the best person on the swim team in college. So. Did you ever think about swimming competitively or was it all? Yeah, you yeah, you know, season? I actually did think about it. You know, yeah. I thought about it and, um, you know, it's just, it was basketball, you know, I just, yeah. it just never really formed. So when you got your swimming cap from the team, mm -hmm. oh, that was Team amazing. USA, I mean, they yeah. knew that you liked swimming ahead of time? Yeah, the Olympic team, um, uh -huh. they, they sent me the cap. Thanks to the swim team, I can now feel like I'm in a game. If I got it in my room, so, I mean, I might put it on today or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought I forgot about the land community. I did. You have uh, been very clear that you would like to learn Spanish. Quiero un, un cafecito. Cafecito. What, what inspired the desire? Uh, you know, so many people that speak Spanish, you know, I want to increase my thought process. I've been putting the time in and um, I've been working on it. There we go. He does it with music and blocks. I'm the game changer. I'm changing the game. <laughs> Is the Rosetta Stone hard? Um, I haven't tried it. You know, uh, it's a it's a learning process. You know, it, it shows you pictures, and um, you kind of take it like a video game. So you get better. It's just more you use it and more you speak it. You know. Nino Lee. Young boy Reed. I just want to get out there and be able to speak to everybody. You know, I met people that um, that's Heat fans that don't really know English. You know, so. I want to be able to communicate with them just as um, well as I can with English speaking fans. Gotcha. I might be built a little different, but outside of that build, 
I'm a regular person. <laughs> I see my fan out the day. They was like, I saw you the best, you the best, you the best, you the best. I said, no, fan. We the best. Overall, your use of social media. I see there's some things you do like by yourself, sometimes you're with family and friends, sometimes yeah. you're with your teammates. Yeah. Do you like including them in, in your videos? You know, I think they like being included too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I tell you, I, it just depends, man. You know, it's um, you know, it's just in a moment. You know, all my Snapchats are in a moment. If my teammates happen to be there, I put them in it. Let them know, y'all, let them know. Ain't nobody doing it with blocks. Hey, let's go! We out here. We out here. So if you could snap about this edition of Inside the Heat, 10 seconds or less, what would you say? Um, I'd just be Jason Jackson and Poole. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, well listen, after getting my behind beat here on the table, the least you could do is uh, have lunch made for me. Oh man, no problem, all right? right? Come appreciate on. It. Let's have Come see me in the here. kitchen. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. We have established, as has Hassan, that he loves connecting with fans on social media, but he also loves to do it in person. He has embraced the Miami Heat mantra about serving the community right here in the place he calls home. Hassan, what are we having? First of all, introduce us to the chef. That's number one. Oh, uh, this is Chef Rudy, mm -hmm. you know, um, my guy. Thanks. You know, you see he's repping them heat colors right now, yeah. so, uh, you know, he's Make sure sharp. everybody's in line. He's sharp, colors, he's right? sharp. Right now, we're talking too much. There it is. Stop. Let's go. Enjoy. Hold on to you, Thank you, Chef. Definitely. It's delicious, man. So, Hassan, you realize how important community activity is with the Miami Heat in your three seasons here. Has there been a particular event that either you always look forward to or a particular one that you really enjoyed that stood out when you're out in the community? Just everything with the season ticket holders, you yeah. know, um, just because, you know, they spend their hard-earned money to watch you play every day. And, um, you know, I, I feel like it's good to see them off the court and um, let them get to know you a little better. Oh, watch that line. There was a unique event that happened earlier in the season. It was uh, the opening, the debut of the TSO Ticket Center at American Airlines Arena. I was getting my ticket master on that day, so so it was a great experience for me uh, getting to interact with the fans that day. There you go. Have a great day. What, what are some of the best reactions that you get from young people? You know, I think kids is um, you know, they just they just wow. You know, they cause they always seeing you on TV, and um, some kids don't get to see you in person. So when they see you in person, it's like. Oh my God, like they so excited. I mean, they get to see their most favorite player and like somebody that they see on TV they can finally interact with, so that's great. Uh, the joy that it brings to these kids' faces, you know, and to be able to be with an NBA star, it's, it's an amazing experience. Oh, what I just experienced was a dream come true. Play with Hassan White set in the Miami Heat. One of the things that is personal to you as it pertains to community outreach is helping families who have young people with autism. Mm -hmm. Your stepbrother, he has autism himself, and your stepmother and your dad have come together to put together uh, Nason's place. I wanted to do something besides sit back and say, why don't we have these things for my son and other families? Then that's why we decided to embark on the journey to start Nason's Voice. I think it's really important. You know, I, um, I can really use my platform to let people know and. Um, do anything I can positive, you know, and uh, bring awareness to it. We understand how close the son is, you know, to his situation with his stepbrother, and so I think this is a nice event to sort of get it started for him, you know, trying to find more research to, uh, to make it applicable to what has to be done. His son's involvement in the Miami community took on a deeper meaning when he surprised Devin Gancios at his high school graduation, a young man battling Hodgkin's lymphoma. Today I'm here to surprise Devin, and I'm here to just show the support and just show that he cares about him and just everything he's been through and all the perseverance he went through in his life. Uh, how does it feel knowing that you're in a position 
of just spending time with someone and how important that is to them and how it can even change the way they're feeling or the way that they look at the world. Hey, oh, Darren, how you doing, man? Good, and you? It's a humbling experience, you know. At first, I didn't, um, you know, I didn't, I don't think I realized how big of a deal it was until, um, you know, I really seen how it was touching people alive and um, touching their hearts. I wanted to thank Mr. Patrice Mendez, his teacher from eighth grade, and Dr. Montagulo, everybody that put this together. <laughs> it means the world. Well, it's already one of the biggest days in my life, and then to have one of my favorite players right here it makes it even more special. Man, it's, it's, it's an honor, you know, when somebody really say they're your favorite player, you know, it really pays off, you know, and, um, you know, it's just, it's just humbling. Knowing the things that you've had to overcome, the adversity you have, you, you've been able to overcome, how important is it to try to help people with their adversity to you? Everybody got adversities in their life. Like that, just hold it, hold it. From ups and downs, rather if, if, if it's a job you want or if something not going your way, just stay with it, don't give up, you know? And I feel like my story can relate to a lot of people's lives. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. After the dealing was done to resign with Miami, it was time to get to work for Hassan Whiteside. First stop, Las Vegas. Meet up with the summer league team, do some bonding. Then off to the Drew League in Los Angeles where a lot of pro players go out to work on their game in the summertime. Once all the work was done, then it was taken to the next level. Get the heat work done back in the place where he calls home, Miami. Clearly, by all the muscles that you have popping off your body, uh, you spent a lot of time this summer in the gym. What was yeah. the chief motivator for you to get in there? Um, let's just get better, become a better player, you know, a better teammate, a better um, everything pretty much. Hassan's very driven, um, whether he expresses it with his words or not. He's always coming in, putting in the work, staying late, watching film with, with um, Coach Howard. What is it that? is in you that says, I need to do more. I just always felt like I was just born with the ambition and the work ethic, just just more, just more, just pushing and, and working for your goals. That's it, H, that's it. He's putting hard work every day. This is an example that the guy who just signed a big deal and he's not just sitting back home, but he's working on his game. The Heat do not let up with their effort, but you really got to like about this team. Them guys, man, I love these guys, man. They care about winning. I go to war with these guys any day. What is it about this particular group of guys that makes you want to fight for them and with them? Um, just because a lot of them got like a chip on their shoulder. You know, you got you got guys that came from the D-League. It's just a variety of those kind of guys with edges. Reed hammers it down from James Johnson. Tony, it's a brand new team for Miami, but the chemistry and the unselfishness is unmistakable. It's something in these guys, that hunger for, for, for just getting better every day. With the success and improvement of the team has come the success and improvement of Hassan Whiteside. The big man is dominating this season, reaching a double-double nearly every night he steps on the court. The great wall of Whiteside with terrific timing. But there's one night that stands out. Hassan's first 30-20 game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Rebound, there's Whiteside. 30 points, 20 rebounds. That's a grown man double-double. This marks only the ninth time the Heat has seen that stat. The last time was during the 2006 playoffs by Hall of Famer and Heat legend Shaquille O'Neal. I didn't realize the stats until um, I think coach was just like, all right, you, you're done for the fourth quarter. I looked up, I was like, oh, wow. Right at the top of the list for you, rebounding. That's the stat where you just blow the, the box out all the time. Is there an art to the way that you do it? I think people just think because you're tall, you're supposed to grab a bunch of rebounds, but um, a lot of people don't realize the guy I'm playing against is my height also. So um, it takes a lot of energy, effort, balance, and um, different techniques. Are you a clear mind guy, or is there stuff going through your head? First thing, I, I, I look for um, the position where I'm at on the court. Second thing is um, I'm looking at the flight of the ball. And the third thing is is just, just trying to jump towards the ball. Right side, what a rebound, what a putback. That man is carrying Miami. 
In addition to being a defensive force, Hassan has proven his versatility and skill with some explosive offensive plays this season. Got another one! Oh my, a pressure for right side. I always say, when you're a center, I feel like you should shoot over 50% for the season. That's pretty much something I take pride in. Hassan has an opportunity uh, to make teams adjust to us. Um, because he's a power presence uh, in the paint, right at the rim. He's a game changer. Uh, he's a guy that cleans up your mistakes <laughs> on the defensive end, offensively as well. He's somebody that makes the game so much easier for his teammates. Here's Waiters with a purse. Whiteside on the follow. Whiteside, look out below. Aside from numbers, Hassan recognizes the importance of his role as a leader on the team. His leadership extends especially to fellow big man Willie Reed but he still seeks the direction and guidance of Heat legend Alonzo Mourning. He just be like, man, I want you to get every rebound, big fella, and block every shot, everything, just pretty much putting in the work, and um, he always asks for more and more. He's proven that uh, he can put up big numbers. He's proven that he can earn a, a, a big contract, uh, and it's deserved. So now he can focus on winning. Goal setting. What do you want for yourself for the rest of the season? We still think championship, man. You know, that's what we always, we got to um, get in the playoffs first and then take things from there and um, go, go as deep as possible. You're in this place with the team now where there's belief that there can be more. You have more here, this beautiful house, oh, this beautiful city. What's most rewarding about all of this? That I'm doing what I love, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of um, win, lose, or draw, you know, um, every day I go into work, you know, this is what I love, you know, and everybody can't say that. Hassan Whiteside is growing as a player in every game and every season for the Miami Heat. The double-double machine is called upon to put up big numbers in every single contest. As he emerges in that area, he's also rising as a leader for his teammates and as a citizen in our community. Thank you so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. I got distracted we go, right? by nothing whatsoever. Captain America. It's like a resort coming over here, man. A resort? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Oh, man. I'm, oh, man. I'm, I'm going to go ride a manatee. You have the most powerful koi fish in the history of the world. <laughs> oh. You want some?